right, traders, welcome to today's market recap video. We are going to be putting the spotlight here on the NASDAQ, a.k.a. the NAS100, because frankly speaking, guys, this is where all the action has been all year. Okay, I don't care what asset class you trade. If you trade Forex, uh, you can trade the NASDAQ. Your symbol is NAS100. If you trade futures, your symbol is NQ. And of course, if you trade stocks, your symbol is QQQ. And this market has been absolutely rocked over the last two days. We've had two days of heavy heavy selling okay while all the other markets were quiet the s p went nowhere today the dow went nowhere today the russell went nowhere today look days like today are why i firmly believe you guys need to have an active watch list you know i don't know why you're not watching the nasdaq it's available like i said on every asset class forex futures and stocks and folks this is one of those markets where if you have the right software and you have the right signals, you know what to look for, look, man, you're going to do really, really well, all right? And in fact, what you're seeing on the screen right now, guys, is the NAS 100. This is a live chart over the last 24 hours, and the signals have been amazing, all right, guys? So let's get into it. This green and red color band that you see overlaid onto the chart is what I call the volume indicator. Some people call it market profile, some people call it volume footprints. I'm kind of a simple person, so I like to just call it the volume indicator, but you guys can call it whatever you want, all right? Because what's more important is what does this indicator do for you, right? How was it able to identify these two and only two cell signals? Well, I'm gonna tell you how, okay? What this color band can do, guys, is it actually reads level one and level two bid ask data. What is the bid and the ask? Well, in any market, whether you trade futures, forex, or stocks, there's always a set of buyers and there's always a set of sellers, right? And contrary to what a lot of you guys believe, okay, the number of sellers and the number of buyers are always equal every single day, right? Just because the volume band turns red does not mean that there were more sellers than buyers. You understand? What it means is the velocity has been captured by the sellers. Okay? It does not mean that there were less buyers than sellers. All this stretch means is that the sellers overwhelmed the buyers. Does that make sense, guys? And why is that important? Okay, why is this exact moment in time where the pressure shifted from the buyers being in control to the sellers being in control? Why is that important to you? Why do you care? Well, I'm going to tell you why you should care. Okay, because these volume shifts from red into green or green into red, what that'll do is that'll help you identify the direction. Okay which is something you will never ever be able to do on a candlestick BS chart where you can't make out heads or tails of what's happening, what direction the market's going, are we going up, are we going down? It's meaningless, okay? You guys know I am on a mission to get rid of Japanese candlesticks. I wish we could ban Japanese candlesticks from every charting platform. Okay? And that's because I truly believe that candlestick charts cause a lot more harm to beginner traders, to retail traders, to amateur traders. And frankly speaking, it's also the reason that an amateur trader or a retail trader can never migrate to becoming a professional right they're just stuck in the trash heap they're stuck in the garbage pile looking at their nonsense while professional traders are able to identify technical setups they look for low risk high probability trades and they set their charts up like this okay look folks this is a game of quantifying and making money off of larger traders right because it's not people like me and you who move these markets it's not people like me and you that create these significant huge monster trends all right we're going to take a look at this one and i'm actually going to show you why this second sell signal here was actually my favorite 
of these two cell signals, all right? But first, what does quantifying mean? How do you actually make money with a directional bias trading indicator, right? What's the impact on your pocketbook? How can it transform your profit and loss? Well, I'm going to show you right now, okay? So watch this. Try to follow along. I'm going to really dumb it down here for you and show you why this is the best trading strategy, okay? What I like to do, and this is the conclusion that I've reached a long time ago, is I like to look at the market as a game of capturing bars. What does that mean? When we take a trade, long or short, I want the market to give me as many bars in my favor as possible. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for example, this nice sell-off right here when the volume shifted from green into red, okay? We look for a setup and we never risk more than one bar. And we're prepared to lose that one bar, right? But what if the market decides to trend in our favor? You understand what I'm saying? What if we could turn one bar into 17 bars? Or in this case, one bar into three bars. And my favorite, this one right over here, ladies and gentlemen. What if we could turn one bar into 30 freaking bars? And what if in each one of these scenarios, every time the color changes, you never risk more than one bar. Just tally this up, folks, right? This was 50-something bars and change just in a 24-hour session. This is not something you can do in stocks. This is not something you can do in options. And this is the reason that most professional traders gravitate to either Forex or futures, okay? And one of the big advantages in doing so is you can set the value of what each bar is worth, right? You want to set one bar to be worth 10 bucks? Good. You caught 50 bars. Each bar was worth 10 bucks. That's $500 potential, right? But you could also set one bar to be worth $100 or $200 or $500. You understand what I'm saying? And if you've got that type of account size and you've got kind of a strong stomach for risk, right? Where one bar is worth $500? Well, in that case, congratulations. You killed it today, okay? So look, guys, I hope I've been able to explain to you uh, the raw power of professional charts, professional trading software. Like I said, I'm on a mission to stop everyone in the universe from using candlestick BS charts. And I want all you guys who are passionate, who are hungry, and those of you who are true believers in real technical analysis and understanding what price action really means, okay, then it's time for you to take the next step and get involved. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you kill it and become unstoppable at trading. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading guys thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next trade <laughs>